Good morning, I'm Matt and welcome to another RC Man episode. Uh, this one's a bit of a strange one actually, is because I know what's in two of these packages uh, and we're going to take a little, little bit more of a, a deeper look at them. Now before we go there we've got something which says um, $6 apparently, uh, which I don't think it was $6. Uh, anyway, let's come get these things open so that you can just see what some of the stuff which I've been buying and remember, the really the, like my main motivation behind these RC Mail episodes is because we just don't really know what we're getting when we're all in off a flat screen. So here's me sharing what I'm buying. Uh, and of course, if you've had similar experiences, do share with everybody else in the comments section underneath this video. Uh, and do let me know what you've been buying because I am always curious to see what you've been buying. Uh, because I've, I've done these, I've asked that same question before and I've stumbled into new things uh, and which has actually been really, really cool. So uh, this is actually not that exciting, okay? The reason why I would say it's not that exciting is because it's just some servo extension leads and they're just, they were super cheap, super cheap those ones. Uh, not the thickest wire going. That said, what I do have here, uh, and I've been through so many of these, the, and I know you can buy a reel and you can, and I've got a crimp tool and whatnot, uh, but put that aside, that these, Cables and these are only some short ones. In fact, I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see uh, the the quality on these cables. Uh, is that these are just some twisted cables, server extension leads. They're more expensive than the cheaper ones, but the wire comparison uh, is I put those there and go and get one of these little cheaper bags, uh, so you can see the the just the difference in quality in cable uh, is it is just unbelievably different. The yeah, if I just hold that still and if it focuses, ish, there we go. Can you see the difference in the thickness of the gauge of the wire? So that's the reason why I'm going for the JR um, style, well, I say JR, uh, for the, the, the thicker twisted cables. Um, yes, they're more expensive on Banggood, but the quality on them is just nothing short of amazing, to be honest. Uh, and like I said, I've been up through absolute shed loads of these cables. Uh, and they're absolutely brilliant. And what I've been doing, what I've got here actually, is a collection uh, of different lengths. This time I've actually been and chosen some shorter ones. What I found uh, is that I did have some 45 centimetre or 450 millimetre length uh, leads uh, and also some 60s. And I just wasn't getting through the 60s and 45s. And what I did find I was getting through uh, was the shorter ones. Uh, the, the 15 and the 30 ones a lot a lot more quicker so that's what I've got here I've just got a collection here to top, my, top myself up uh, so what have I got I've got some 60s two lots of 60s uh, for Taba uh, and uh, JR colouring uh, I've got some 30s uh, that looks like a 30 as well uh, and I've got two lots of 15s too so yeah and again remember if you buy for more than three off one listing on Banknet you do end up getting a discount on them as well so I'll put those to one side like I said not terribly exciting uh, depending upon your circumstances uh, because for me that means that I can create my own little custom wiring looms I've literally just been sat here actually uh, before I recorded the video working on my mini talent uh, and I've just brought a new little wiring loom up so that I can actually keep the HD camera, uh, the uh, Runcam 2 on the front, uh, charged, uh, sort of charged and being powered uh, throughout the flight. So that's what I've just been and done on mine. And I've used those cables to uh, get the power from the back of the model, ironically, because the main leads, that's where I've got the jumpers at the back, uh, to bring the power from the back of the model back around to the front of the model. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've been working on here this morning. And again, I've been using those cables uh, to do that. Uh, we have the obligatory death trap uh, of a mains power converter uh, on this one. Now, I didn't really mention what's in here. Now, I don't know if you've seen these funny deal. Uh, every time Banggood has one of their like big sales or something, they do like these countdown offers. Like you have to click snap up, snap up deals. That's what I'm trying to spit out. Uh, and that's oh, I've picked out the better one uh, of the two. Uh, I think is that the H? Yeah, that's the H one. Uh, and I actually won one, and I picked one of these, I think the H9 I picked up for $31, something like that. Uh, and the other one, which I'll tell you what, I'll open up at the same time, is that I picked up for $20. Uh, and the reason why I was after these is because, uh, is number one, I wanted one as a giveaway. 
and number two, I wanted a cheap replacement to replace the uh, Turnigy 2K camera, which I bought for $20 off Hobby King, uh, which was utter. It just about worked. It was worth $20, that's all I'm saying. Besides that, I wouldn't, I can't suggest you ever pay more than $20 for that. Anyway, that aside, I wanted a uh, GoPro style camera uh, to go in the, in fact, there's my alarm going off. And by the way, uh, it's, no, no kidding, it's five past five in the morning here. Uh, so like I said, I am early bird. Uh, anyway, uh, my point being is that I wanted a replacement camera to go on the front of a couple of different models, specifically the S800 wing, uh, which is likely to get hit into a tree. That's how I broke the Turnigy one. So uh, this is the cheap one, which is going to get smashed up, uh, and this is the good one. Uh, so with that said, I'll tell you what, for all intents and purposes, by the way, these two cameras are extremely similar but there is a difference between them okay and the actual difference between them is that the number one they've got two different sensors slightly different sensors in here but most importantly they have two different processor chips now this is one of the bit my biggest tips for you is do your research on these cheap action cameras because this one says it does 4k and technically it does 4k but only at 10 frames per second. So it's got a Sun Plus, I think it's a 6330 processor chip, and it, it will do 4K, but it will only do 4K at 10 frames per second. So it's gonna be really blocky and really shite, okay? Whereas this one will do all, this one will also do 4K, and it's a Sun Plus 6350, processor chip which they got in there uh, and it will do uh, 4k at 25 frames per second so two this one is potentially 2.5 times better than this one however it doesn't stop there in reality 4k is only going to be an interpolated image and what that means is that the, the standard recording size maybe it's 1080p and they just expand it out and they fill in the pixels uh, to make it look like a 4K image, okay? They, they, they do make a 4K image, but it's not a true 4K image, okay? And this is where spending literally just $10 more on an action camera is actually worth your money because the difference between this one and that one is the processor chip in the background, and this one, just being $10 more, will process your 1080p at a much higher frame rate, the, the 720p at 120 frames per second. Stupidly fast, to say the least, uh, which is really good if you want to do some slow-mo pictures, for example. So, do do your research. It takes no, nothing more than a few seconds to go down to the specifications, see which processor they chip they've got in there. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this one is the Sun Plus 6330, and this one's the Sun Plus 6350. And you need to know what the kind of difference is because that's what makes this one ten dollars more and actually makes it the superior camera in comparison to that one. So I hope that that makes sense. Uh, besides that, I, I'm expecting both of these to be pretty much exactly the same as far as contents go. Uh, we'll get a plastic piece of case, uh, and they come, generally, they're, they're extremely, how do you plumb and get this thing off? Uh, normally speaking, they are extremely well equipped uh, with the goodies which you get with these things. Uh, they come with all the standard GoPro mounts and things like that. Now, one curiosity is, well, number one, this bloody thing won't come off, uh, is that one curiosity is that they're all using standardized mounts. And another curiosity for you, I've got cameras like this, which I've had before, and I've never used any of the cases or parts or anything like that. So these, both these cameras come with a whole collection of different goodies. Uh, but the reality is, just like personally speaking, it sounds nice that it comes with uh, a waterproof case and things like that, but to be honest, I've never used the waterproof case uh, uh, on, on any of the cameras which I've got here. Uh, just straightforward, nice big fat screen on the back. Uh, no, ah, nice touch. Okay, this is worth pointing out for a very good reason. Okay, again, this is where you need to do your research. In fact, let me just zoom in here so you can see what I'm why I'm getting, just making this point, is separate batteries 
okay? Being able to replace a battery uh, or get hold of a replacement one, because what likely what what's two things are going to happen to this camera? Number one, you're going to smash it. You're going to put it in a model, and you're going to smash it into a tree, and it's going to break. Okay, the screen don't work or something like that. Okay, or you're going to use it so much, and you then work out that you need a second battery. Okay, now some of these cameras do not allow you to remove the battery and swap it over for another one. This one, and I assume this one here, we'll take a look at that one in a moment, does. That means that you can get a hold of replacement batteries, uh, and then if you're out for a day's flying, for example, is that you can then go on and replace the battery. Uh, having a quick look around the camera, uh, we've got a HDMI slot, SD card slot here on the side. Again, let me just zoom in so that you can see what's going on. Yeah, really straightforward. So you'll see that... We, oh, I'll use the blade and then we need to come out of touch. Apologies for the wobble in the uh, camera. I'm using the zoom on the side. So you've got HDMI, micro HDMI slot, uh, USB lead. Okay, so uh, far as the USB lead, you can use that to charge. Uh, you can also potentially use that to up, uh, upload updated firmware, which is not a topic which I'm going to get into, but just be aware that you can do that. Uh, and you also have an SD card slot on here. Now, the curiosity on here is, does it? Have, oh, oh, these devices. This device does have Wi-Fi as well. Look up for the uh, Wi-Fi app, which is pretty cool because you potentially remote control the camera. You can change the settings remotely off your phone. Really straightforward. Uh, nice big screen on the back. Uh, do I have? No. Uh, oh no. Actually, what am I talking about? One of these knives. He says, might be lucky, yes, just to give you a rough idea, uh, screen size 4 centimeters on the back, 4 centimeters uh, wide by about 3 centimeters tall, uh, decent size screen, two little buttons on top, one button on the top as well on the front, uh, to turn it on, oh, the light's on, on the top, there we go, just turn it on for no card, no big surprise there. Uh, if I remember correctly, you've just pressed the menu button on the front to cycle through the different modes. Then you can get into settings. You've got the but choosing the settings. You can choose your video religion, resolution and go through and change all your settings. Really nice positive sound, which you've got with this one. Again, it was super cheap. It literally cost me $20. Uh, I will go through and uh, take my time to actually look at this in more details. We'll have a quick nose. I'll just turn it back off again. Yeah, I'll take, we'll, we'll take our time to go and have a look at some of the other parts which we get with it. Like I said, these little cheap action cameras, one thing which you've got to say for them is that you do get a shed load of extra goodies in the box, to say the least. You always get a shed load of goods, uh, extra bits, which you'll never end up using. Uh, well, I found I've never ended up using, to be honest. So uh, let's open these up and have a look at our accessories. Uh, they're in here somewhere, honest. One lot in there. Another lot in here. Oh yeah, you will need a uh, micro SD card as well, which you can buy off Amazon for peanuts. Uh, oh, that's a nice touch. That's actually a really, that's not something which I've seen. Now this is so small, and I know this is so small, but I actually class it as a big thing. Look, you've got a wire, wire lead, and you get some cable ties. So if you have stuck this on the side of your car, for example, on the outside, you can stick a wire lead around it, cable tie it to a fixed point on your car, for example, or your bike, uh, and uh, or model airplane, as the case may be. Uh, and then you know that if it does fall off, you've still got you've got like a safety restraint on it. I've not seen that on a. Thing before, uh, well, we've got USB lead, whatever. Uh, you got oh, you've got a outside holder. Let's get this thing out again. Again, apparently these things are good to 30 meters or something like that. Uh, if I remember reading the description correctly, uh, these ones I do like these cases which are like that. So you've got the standard uh, what's it quarter inch thread on the bottom for there. I do find that those do work well. I remember doing some work here on the desk, uh, some videography on the desk. Uh, you do get a clamp mount uh, for uh, your steering wheel, for uh, sorry, uh, uh, on your bike. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and uh, another little clippy thingy. Uh, oh, and a standard 
one of those mounts as well to go into like the photography stands as well. So yeah, usual kind of stuff. Cheapest chips. This one literally is just going to go and get charged up and it's going to get stuck and it's just going to get thrown in the uh, flight bag uh, and it's just going to be used as nose weight for the front end uh, of the uh, S800 in short. Now this one is slightly different. Uh, when I say slightly different, remember the processor chip. So we have faster processing uh, for not only 4K, but we also have faster processing of 1080p. So I'll only ever be personally ever be recording in 1080p. The file sizes when it comes to 4K are just absolutely obscene. And like I mentioned, the 4K on here for it, it's just interpolated, it's made up pixels. They just double the size and make up the pixels in between just basically using averages uh, and um, it, yeah it's not true 4k hasten to add uh, what would you expect for 32 dollars i think it was uh, which i paid for this one so i'm expecting exactly the same kind of setups before unfortunately the case did break till i broke but i really ain't bothered about that because ultimately the camera's in a protective case anyway uh, i am just gonna shoot some of this went flying over that way i'll take a close to look uh, for all intents and purposes, exactly the same plastic case which has come on this one. Uh, and again, you can push the buttons outside. Apparently these are good underneath water. Probably not something which I'm ever going to do, to be brutally honest. Uh, same kind of setup, very similar to the other one. Uh, yeah, exactly the same size screen. Uh, they do have, this one does say remote on the top, which uh, is a feature which I've not come across before. Uh, if we turn it on, we'll take a quick look. Again, removable battery as well let me go and zoom in we get this the right way around yeah nice clear little screen on the back it's set up as 1080p 60 we can see that on the screen uh, out of the box uh, video mode batteries came charged again removable battery same kind of setup HDMI USB and USB cards uh, sorry uh, SD card you need a micro SD card like literally a tenner uh, off Amazon buttons on the side nice robust little camera I've just hit record on it so it's not going to do anything again I'm just pressing the button on the front uh, to cycle through the modes uh, so we get through set there we go we're into settings uh, and again it's the same kind of setup you can just use the arrows just to go through the the settings the one thing which I like, like about these ones you can do time lapse on these one thing which I'm going to say if you if you're going to do a time lapse time lapse for a long period of time power this by using a either a, a main a USB charger uh, either from the mains or from a one of the power banks uh, and then you can get some really nice long uh, time lapses is something which I've done before. If you look back on my YouTube channel, like we're up flying on the slope, is that I'll stick one of these on the side and it'll record some slope flying for the day as a time lapse. And I just put a power bank, plug a power bank into it, uh, and you just get some fantastic imagery for the day. Uh, so I'm not going to go into the settings, I'm sure you've been through these things before. Uh, yeah, for me, this one is the better one of the two, uh, and the reason for that. Uh, is because it's got the better processor, etc., etc., in it. So, a uh, quick summary of what we've seen for, so far. And again, it's just, it's just going to have exactly the same parts in the box, you know, and have a USB lead, a couple other bits, which, frankly, you know, I'll, I'll just never use, uh, to be honest. Uh, I'll probably keep the case uh, because, actually, probably I, sh I should keep it in the case uh, and then throw that in the uh, flight bag. So, I probably don't, and so I, then I don't end up losing the lens. Now, a very serious point, and actually a, a very important point, you'll notice both of these cameras are yellow, okay? And the reason why they're yellow is because if I had a black camera, or if I had a red camera, or a blue color, okay, if I land it in grass, or you land it in some grass, you're just not going to spot it, okay? And the issue with that is that you could potentially lose the camera. I've been for the little Tony G 2K camera, which is a black one, and the same with the GoPro. I've hit it out of a model before, and then you're just walking around trying to find the blooming camera. So you need a camera which is bright to begin with, uh, and very unnatural color is yellow, okay? As in, like, you won't normally find that in a field. Well, obviously, if it's rape seed, you're doomed. Uh, but generally speaking, you won't find something yellow in a field full of grass or in bushes or in trees and things like that so always go for a very odd color yellow is a very very good color for you to use 
So, uh, it's time for me to go. Thank you for joining me here for this uh, unboxing of actually ironically two action cameras here. Uh, I will put some footage up on these at a later date so that you can see uh, what kind of, well, I, they're going to be decent quality. In fact, just I'll, I'll put some samples up at some point in the future, uh, but you're going to have to take my word for it. it they're all pretty much of a muchness, you know. It's only at the top end, top end uh, of like the 4K resolution, which is, like we said, it's fake 4K anyway. This one can only do 10 frames per second, which is going to be stuttery. This one can do 25. Uh, and take away that note is that that is that that one cost me $20. That cost me $32. That was the difference of say $12. This one has a better processor chip in there. Again, do your research. Go down to the bottom of the video description, see which processor chip they've got in there. Remember, that was a Sun Plus 6330. Do your research. Find out what the difference between a 6330 is and a 6350. And the answer to that is always just in the Google. Just go and have a look. And you just do like for like comparison. And you go, oh, that one can do 25%, 25 frames per second. Uh, and but on the flip side, potentially that one has an advantage because it's got less of a chip in it. Could be just cheaper. And again, if you just want a cheap camera, just like as I do, to stick in the front of a model, I know that I'm going to break it very, very shortly. And I'm not going to cry if I lose it or if I break it because I've stuffed it in a tree. $20, absolute bargain. Okay. On the flip side, would I feel more, more annoyed if I lost the $32, camera, $32 camera? Of course I would. Okay, because um, I know that I can get a cheaper one. Okay, so yeah, that's the main difference between them two. Just do, do your research on them. They all they're all pretty much of a muchness now. 4K at this price point is utter BS. Just to just be hundred percent honest there. Uh, and I tell you what, the the one nice the one nice little touch which I've not seen with these cameras before is that little wire lead. I think that's a very, very good idea. Uh, very inexpensive for them to include. And actually with a couple of cable ties, that could mean that if you are doing something a little bit more sporty with this, maybe you've got this on your downhill mountain bike, for example, and you're anything like my brother, brother-in-law, which does frequently come flying off uh, his mountain bike. In fact, the last time he, he's literally just recovered, he's just had some bolts uh, put in for his color, color, collarbone. Uh, so if you're like my brother-in-law, uh, you would definitely want to use a metal strap and some cable size to retain the camera on there so at least it stays somewhere near the crash site if you're uh, on a man bike or maybe you could use it as a restraint on the front of your model I don't know anyway uh, coming back to my point we also got those diesel quality leads I, I cannot recommend these servo extension leads enough if you look at some of my more serious builds uh, if you look and look at my mini talent build, you go and look at the XUV V cloud build. Uh, if you have a look at the cable, I'm, I'm just there when I read out some models where I've used these cables in because I think they're that good. Uh, the KFU XL, uh, the Team Legit 48, uh, Mini Track actually is one of the rare models which doesn't have this. No, it. No, it doesn't have these cables in uh, in there. Uh, what else have we got? The race wing didn't have it. The, the hardcore wings, which I've got here. Some of my smaller models have got them in there as well. Uh, I've just basically used them in pretty much all my models where I've needed extensions of some shape or form. I also make up my own custom wiring looms as well uh, to go out to like the video transmitter on one wing and the receiver on the other wing. Uh, so for example, on the video transmitter, I need not only free wires, so you need positive, uh, and uh, grounds, uh, and then you need signal, but then you also wrap in a fourth wire for audio uh, out onto the video wire, which is then I'll use something like the JR wire, uh, but I'll also put a white wire in there as well. So I've got red, brown, so positive and negative. I've got orange for my video signal, then I've got white for my audio signal, so color coded all the way. And then on the opposite side for the receiver, what I'll then do is do black and red, positive and negative, run five volts out to the receiver. I'll then run the white wire out, okay, uh, as RSSI, okay, so that goes into the RSSI plug, maybe for example on an L9R, or maybe on the orange RX, you, it comes out for, what was it, sock plug, port five, for example, get RSSI, no, so I'm just chatting rubbish, that's down on, it's got a separate RSSI output on the orange RX. Uh, and then uh, the orange wire I will then use to go and, uh, watch me call it, run it. Uh, that will be the signal wire, so uh, if I'm using SBUS for example, that would be the signal wire. And then of course if I'm bringing any, if, uh, any additional channels in uh, from 
the, the actual receiver, then I'll just use another orange wire or something like that. Something just stands out when I bring it back uh, into the centre of the model. Anyway, I've gone off topic. I really do, uh, sorry, I've, I've gone quite off on a tangent. I really do rate these JR wires. If you have used these before, please share with the others which are watching this video in the comments section underneath this video because I cannot rate these highly enough. Uh, I've, if you look back from my mail episodes, you will know how many of these what uh, cables I've been and bought. I've got a massive box. In fact, here's what's, let me just make a point. There's my box in there. Can you just get an idea of how many cables I've been through and how many cables I've hacked up? And you'll understand now why I need to top that box up is because I'm, just, I'm literally just left with a box uh, of bits and bobs which are left over and only a sh small number uh, of cables which I've got left. Anyway, it's time for me to go. If you've blown or have used either of these cameras before, I'd love to hear for your feedback on them. Do look out for a little bit of footage uh, and recorded and taken with both of these cameras uh, in the near future. Uh, and But to be honest, they're just gonna work. They're gonna be fine, okay? And I, I won't win, I, I'm, in this, I won't win about a $20 camera, okay? It's 15 quid. It's going to die very, very soon. Its days are seriously numbered. This one, just don't know yet. Hey ho. So, on that note, if you've got any questions about anything which you've been and seen here, remember uh, is that I've bought these products out of my own money for my own abuses. So, if you have any questions, you will get some honest replies to them. I will put links to each of these things which you've seen here, including the servo extension leads, down in the video description for you. For 100% clarity, those links will be affiliate links. So if you use any of those links, you will be supporting this channel, something which I like to be 100% of, uh, open and honest about here at Rag The Nuts Off. And with that said, for myself, Matt, I would like to say a big thank you to you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios.